welcome back to my channel it's gabrielle mcbay and i'm back with another video this time i am showing you guys how to make my signature crab cakes they are restaurant style and they are definitely a favorite so let's get started these are all the ingredients and this is what we're about to do so i love using fresh lump crab you can use either lump crab jumbo lump extra lump don't really matter just as long as it's real okay uh, next I'm gonna start on my mixture so I do mayonnaise I love the Hillman's brand or just any type of good quality mayonnaise because it definitely makes a difference after mayonnaise we got some Worcestershire how you say that Worcestershire sauce that just kind of adds a little sweet tangy not necessarily sweet more so tangy little taste to our mixture and we got some Old Bay, the best seafood seasoning that one could ever have, especially in crab cakes. You need Old Bay. It just does something different. I don't know. It just does something different. Then we got salt and pepper, just a little bit, not too much because Old Bay definitely adds some of that saltiness and the celery and all of that. You don't need a lot of salt and pepper. We're gonna whisk that together. Whiskey, 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 whiskey. Whisk that all together. Then I'm adding some finely diced celery. Not too big of chunks because you don't want to eat crab cakes and like it's a whole bunch of raw celery. Just enough, you, you know, it's kind of small. Fresh parsley. Definitely want some fresh parsley if you can. Not necessarily parsley flakes. And then Dijon mustard. I love grape poupon. How you say that? Grape poupon? I don't know. But grape poupon is what you need. And we are going to blend all of that together and then add our breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs. So it doesn't matter what brand. I got these at Trader Joe's, but you can get the Kikoman uh, panko breadcrumbs. Regular breadcrumbs could also work, but I like panko just because they're like Japanese style. And so the texture is a little bit different. I do taste and adjust the seasoning as I go before I add the eggs, which is what I'm about to do, but you wanna kinda of taste things before you add the eggs. That way you don't get salmonella child over here eating raw crab cake batter. <laughs> so then I'm gonna add in my eggs and we are going to mix our mixture all together. You don't wanna do it too heavy just because you don't want your crab mixture to like shred and break off. Um, I do like using a rubber spatula just because it keeps things real nice and gentle. And then I like to like feel through my crab because sometimes you have like the cartilage and just different things and real fresh crab. So I like to get it with my hands so you can really feel how your crab is feeling. We're gonna blend all of that together. That looks so yummy. Just light, fresh, again, rubber spatula. Don't use a fork. That crab is gonna separate and you really wanna leave those big, nice chunks so that you can have a good chunky crab cake. After that, I'm going to shape my crab cakes. I like to use a cookie scoop or ice cream scoop, some type of scoop, measuring cup, just so that your crab cakes are all the same size, especially if you are doing these for a crowd. You could do them as big as you want. You could do them as small as you want. These particularly were for a crowd, so I kind of like to do petite crab cakes to where they're a little bit smaller than, um, you know, just like a big serving but just enough for someone to be like, ooh, I ate a crab cake, you know? So yeah, we're gonna do all of those on a cookie sheet. And once I get done with those, I like to refrigerate them at least for 30 minutes, preferably an hour, just so your crab cakes can kind of sit firm before you put them in the pan. Once you do have them kind of like nice and firm, look at that, nice and firm, you're gonna heat your skillet to medium high heat. And you're gonna seal your crab cakes on both sides. I prefer to cook with avocado or grapeseed oil, but you're going to sear on both sides. And usually it'll be about three to four minutes on each side, but kind of take a look. And also look at the bottom. You can see when your crab cake starts browning at the bottom. That means it's done, honey. It means, well, not done. It means it's ready to flip. So we're gonna flip it over, give it a little bit of extra heat on that other side. And then I like to add a little pat of butter, or you can baste it with butter just to add some butter, child, because butter and seafood, they just go together like PB&J. So that's it. 
We've seared our crab cakes. I like to add some remoulade on top. You can add tartar sauce, fresh lemon juice, microgreens, but those are some of my favorite toppings. Look at that, just jumbo, just, just good. Just a good size crab cake and pure meat. We don't have a lot of filling. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you have fun making these at home and I hope that they are a favorite in your household. Thank you so much for wa watching. Lord, I can't talk. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace, love, and good food to you.